Hello everyone, welcome back to the Top 10 Most Awesome Channel. This video here is not just a compilation of some funny work fails, but some serious incidents that took place that make you think about how important workplace safety is. Why are they so important? Well, to know that, you need to look, not at where we are now, but where we came from. What follows are the top 10 worst workplace disasters. Make sure you watch till the end of this video to understand the safety importance. So let's begin. Number 10, the Halifax explosion. On the morning of the 6th of December, 1917 in Halifax, Canada, the world bore witness to the largest man-made pre-atomic explosion in history. On that morning, the French ship, the SS Mont Blanc, collided with the Norwegian vessel, the SS Imo. The SS Imo was carrying relief supplies for the war effort and was in a rush to get out of the harbor. The SS Mont Blanc had both right-of-ways and a cargo full of explosives. The explosion was equal to about 2.9 kilotons of TNT, the largest in history up until that point, and the largest until the atomic bomb. The resilient death toll was approximately 2,000 people from both the boat and onlookers on the harbor with another 9,000 injured. Though many factors were in play, it is understood that the disaster would have been avoided had safety protocols not been relaxed as a result of World War I being in full swing at the time. Number 9. The Bofal Gas Leak the Bofal disaster took place on the night of the 2nd of December 1984 at Union Carbide India Limited. Union Carbide India was a precedent plant located in Bosphal and this disaster is considered to be the world's worst industrial disaster. A tank containing methyl isocalinate ruptured releasing 30 metric tons of the highly toxic gas into the atmosphere within an hour. Estimates on the final death toll do vary, but some estimates have the long-term death toll placed at a shocking 16,000 people. Though Union Carbide India still disputes the causes of the disaster, it has been argued by the Indian government and local activists that extremely poor maintenance and poor management were to blame. With safety systems offline, many gas scrubbers offline, a pipe cleaning system offline, and many valves and lines in very poor condition, it seems clear that criminally negligent maintenance of plant and equipment played a part. Number eight, the sinking of the Titanic. Bet you weren't expecting to see this in here. On the night of the 14th of April, 1912, the RMS Titanic, otherwise known as the unsinkable ship, hit an iceberg and sank on its maiden voyage in the North Atlantic Ocean. In total, 1,503 people died in the incident out of the 2,208 passengers and crew. You may already know this story, but have you ever thought of it from a health and safety standpoint? One could write an entire blog about the Titanic's poor OHS management. But what's clear is that it's almost every conceivable way the White Star Line failed to prepare for this disaster. This disaster leads to the creation of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, or SOLAS, which still governs maritime practices to this day. Wondering why till date you were considering this as a mere natural happening, but actually it's an extremely dangerous failure of precaution concerns. Let us know your views about this in the comment box below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to us to watch more videos like this. Number 7. Honkiko Colliery Mining Disaster This disaster took place on April 26, 1942, during the height of World War II, when the Japanese captured Hinohiko Culinary Coal Mine in the eastern Liaoneng province in China. On that day, there was a gas explosion in one of the shafts, beginning what would be known as the worst mining disaster of all time. After a brief period of evacuation in an attempt to starve the fire of oxygen, the Japanese shut off the ventilation, sealing over 30% of the workforce in the burning mine. In total, 1,549 people died, 31 of whom were Japanese, the rest of whom were forced Chinese workers. It should be pointed out that the conditions in that mine were deplorable to begin with. This disaster was simply the culmination of the mine operator's lack of concern with its worker safety. 
Number six, Rana Plaza collapse. During rush hour on the 24th of April, 2013, in the Savar Abazila of Dhaka, Bangladesh, the Rana Plaza building collapsed, killing 1,130 people and injuring another 2,500 people. This eight-story building has been built upon an old pond, was four stories higher than approved, was being used for industrial use instead of its commercial designation, and was made from substandard materials. Its reasons for falling aren't hard to discern. Perhaps the truly terrible thing about that death toll was that it was almost avoidable. Many businesses had closed immediately after cracks had appeared on the lower floors. The building's owners ignored the concerns and ordered workers back into the building. On the day workers returned, the building collapsed. The response for this disaster was swift with 42 people charged with murder, including the building's owners. If you have watched this video till here, then I am sure you will be amazed knowing about the upcoming incidents. But first, press that notification bell to get notified whenever we post the video and be the first to watch it. Moving forward to number five, Pemberton Mill Collapse. On the evening of January 10th, 1860, the five-storied Pemberton Mill building crumbled into pieces. The resulting debris, resembling a 50 feet high pyramid, trapped almost 600 mill workers, comprising many women and children. Designed by architect Charles Bigelow, the seven-year-old building was prone to minor trembling every now and then. While many people died within minutes of the collapse, more than 200 were saved by rescue workers. One of the main causes of the disaster was the use of poorly built cast iron columns to support the building. Today, the mill stands tall at its original location after being rebuilt by the owners. Number four, Schofield Mine Disaster. On May 1, 1900, the U.S. witnessed one of the worst mining accidents in the Winter Quarters Mine near Schofield, Utah. The mishap occurred when 10 25-pound kegs of black powder detonated in one of the sections of the mine. The explosion ignited coal dust, quickly spreading the fire to other parts of the mine. Some of the miners immediately succumbed to the explosion. However, others were killed due to asphyxiation by toxic fumes. In an attempt to escape, many of them walked towards the source of the explosion and were subjected to poisonous gases. Others were so deep inside the mine that they couldn't escape. The disaster claimed the lives of at least 200 men, although rescue workers speculated that the death toll could have been higher. Many of the deceased were found holding on to their tools, suggesting that they died very quickly. A memorial was erected near the site to honor the victims. Number three. Texas City Explosion. The French-owned vessel SS Grand Camp was docked at Galveston Bay in the port of Texas City on April 16, 1947. Crew members had finished loading 2,300 tons of ammonium nitrate fertilizer when they noticed smoke in the cargo area. The crew, in a futile attempt to contain the fire, tried to douse the flames without water. However, the fire soon spread, detonating the entire cargo of ammonium nitrate on board. The initial explosion set off a chain reaction of fires and explosions in neighboring ships and crude oil tankers. The entire dock was engulfed in flames, killing many firemen, spectators, and crew members. Shrapnel, consisting of glass pieces and debris, was sent flying into the air, injuring many school children. At least 581 people were killed, while more than 2,000 were reported to have been injured. Number two, West Fertilizer Company explosion. An ammonium nitrate explosion in a fertilizer storage and distribution unit killed at least 35 people and injured more than 160. The events unraveled on the evening of April 17, 2013, when emergency dispatchers were informed about a fire in the plant. 20 minutes later, the unit exploded even as firefighters were trying to contain the flames. Five volunteer firefighters and four emergency responders were among the deceased. The force of the explosion was equivalent to that of a 7.5 to 10 tons of TNT. It resulted in a 93 feet wide crater, causing damage to more than 150 buildings. Despite thorough investigations, the cause of the fire could not be ascertained. 
Number one, guys, is just another example of carelessness that destroyed many lives and is one of the most dangerous fails at work. Deepwater Horizon Oil Spill The Deepwater Horizon oil rig was situated in the Macondo Oil Prospect, only 41 miles away from the coast of Louisiana. On the night of April 20th, 2018, a surge of methane gas caused an explosion in a recently installed concrete core. At the time, 126 crew members were on board. Out of them, 94 were rescued in lifeboats and helicopters. At least 17 of them sustained injuries from the blast. The U.S. Coast Guard conducted a three-day search to recover the bodies of the 11 missing workers. However, they were never found and it is believed that they died in the explosion. It ultimately caused the rig to capsize and sink, causing the worst oil spill in the history of the petroleum industry. This caused extensive damage to marine life and adversely affected the fishing and tourism industries. These disasters are reminders of what happens when you have insufficient health and safety laws or when laws aren't followed. The situation we find ourselves in today often causes adversaries to these laws to claim that they are living in a nanny state or that workers today are covered in cotton wool. The thing is though, that without these protections, these kinds of disasters do happen and a lot of people's lives are destroyed. Hope you like the content. We suggest you go through our top 10 playlist to watch more interesting videos. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.